Greetings, Imperial citizens. Thank you for choosing to watch. I'm Anthony. First of all, I got a lot of positive feedback on my history of video, particularly the stop motion animation. Thank you so much. But what that means for me now is that I have to continually up my game. Thanks, but keep it coming. If you haven't heard, there's a campaign going to encourage Hasbro to increase their vintage collection output. Hashtag back TVC and hashtag fight for TVC. Please visit the link below, sign the petition, and let Hasbro know you want your TVC. Pew pew, pew pew, pew pew. I want my TVC. Pew pew, pew pew. I want my TVC. I want my TVC. Yeah, maybe we should get to today's video. In honor of the Back TVC campaign, today I'm going to be looking at what is hands down the ultimate three and three quarter inch stormtrooper, VC 140 Rogue One Imperial Stormtrooper. After 15 years of loyal service, in use on over 30 releases, Hasbro wisely decided to update the previously excellent VOTC Stormtrooper. In 2018, in conjunction with the release of Solo, A Star Wars Story, we mostly got the update in the Minban Stormtrooper. I mean, wow. Head to toe resculpt, finally fixing the wonky, ball jointed hips I was never too fond of on the previous vintage collection releases. This sculpt has 30 points of articulation over 17 areas, all ball jointed. Scene specific, this stormtrooper has excellent weathering, a cape, a sniper rifle, and a completely resculpted E11 blaster. The only part of the body sculpt that differs from a standard stormtrooper is the blast shield on the helmet. A year later, in 2019, came the stormtrooper we are all waiting for, the Rogue One stormtrooper. Amazing! This time, Hasbro used the head from the redesigned and incredibly accurate Five Points of Articulation Stormtrooper from the Solo, A Star Wars storyline. With a slight modification to the head connection, voila, perfection. I mean, look at it. The articulation is incredible. Every joint, head, shoulders, elbows, wrists, waist, hips, knees, and ankles, all ball jointed. In fact, it's so versatile I've been running a daily game on Twitter called Guess the Movie. I loaded up on these, at least 36 each. What's more is that Hasbro seems to have fixed the yellowing problem with the white plastic that plagued the poor VOTC run. Crossing my fingers that this is permanent. The only accessory is a repainted E11 blaster, which is perfect. Hasbro didn't stop there. We've already gotten two repaints. 2019's Shadow Stormtrooper from the Expanded Universe and 2020's Remnant Stormtrooper from The Mandalorian. While the Remnant Stormtrooper just came with the E-11 blaster and a new paint deco, the Shadow Stormtrooper came with the E-11, a DLT-19 rifle, and a removable pauldron. As of 2020, the Vintage Collection has given us four figures using the superior new tooling. But the big question is, what's next? We've gotten Stormtroopers on both the Vintage Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi cards, but not the original Star Wars card. I don't know about you, but the next time Hasbro releases this new sculpt on a vintage card, I can't see it not being on the original Star Wars card. My dream is that this version will include a holster like the one on the San Diego Comic-Con Luke 3 pack Stormtrooper and a DLT-19 rifle. That to me would be the ultimate ultimate. That's it for this communique. Thank you. And thanks to my usual suspects, and uh, thanks to the folks who helped me with the segments that I've yet to film. Please leave a comment below. It really helps me figure out what's working. And remember, do your part for the Empire. Like, subscribe, share, and wait for the next transmission. I want my TVC!